guys welcome to my channel what's up how are you doing today my name is Matilda for those of you who don't know me welcome to my channel uh, let's jump right quick into the business of today I started this uh, thing on my Instagram page where I post a tip every Tuesday so it's a kind of like a weekly thing I post a beauty tip or a general wellness tip the beauty tips always ranges from like skincare tips hair care makeup stuff like that and then just general wellness fitness mind stuff whatever just a tip to you know help us get by little things i feel like it's a way of giving value so i'm actually very happy to be doing it but yeah i do it every tuesdays and i decided that besides doing it on instagram i also want to have it up on youtube so i'm going to be doing that every last Friday of the month. I'm gonna have all four tips that I talked about during the month, every Tuesday. I'm gonna have it in one video every last Friday of the month. So make sure you turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss any of that. This month, February is the first month of me doing this and I'm so happy that I actually was able to do it because I've been wanting to do this for so long. Oh my goodness, but I started in February and I decided, you know what? If I don't start this, I'm never gonna do it. So I'm just gonna do it. So this video, pardon me, may be a little shaky, a little iffy, the things may not be as clear, but just bear with me, it's only gonna get better. Um, if you also don't wanna miss out in, on any of those tips, make sure you follow my Instagram page. I post them every Tuesday. I think it's very helpful. Um, so make sure you do that, okay? I'll have my handle in the description box. It's Tilda Jordan, T-I-L-D-A underscore underscore Jordan. So make sure you do that. And anyway, so let's get right into the video for today. I have four tips and beauty tip one was something that I feel like everybody should know by now, but for some reason, people don't actually give it as much importance as it deserves for some reason. I know people, uh, people understand it a lot more now, but I still feel like it needs to be said. So beauty tip number one, is moisturize 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 you want to always keep your skin moisturized because who, who wants to be out here with dry cracked skin it doesn't look nice so if you can help it why not i mean if you can't help it if you have a skin problem it's a different thing but if you can't help it why not you get what i'm saying you feel me you get me you understand so first things first guys i have my notes on my phone so i'm going to be looking down a lot because like i said this video can be better i'm not 100 percent prepared but i promise you the next one next month is going to be much better than this i promise so let's just get right into it okay so the first thing for the moisturizer and i feel like it's going to be getting the most focus because i feel like it's extremely important and also because i did a lot of research on it so yeah it's getting a lot of focus but yeah i broke it down into a couple of points and let's just run through it real quick okay so the first step of this is what is moisturized and i feel like everybody knows what this is but just for the sake of this video i'm just going to go through it and it's pretty much keeping moisture on your skin is adding moisture keeping the moisture replenishing the moisture trapping the moisture whatever it is just making sure your skin has moisture that's that is all that moisturizing is so yeah there are various reasons why we moisturize but the ultimate thing is to maintain healthy skin now if you have healthy skin your skin is obviously going to look good so i think that goes without saying so if you want your skin to look bomb if you want your skin to look good you need to start moisturizing you can't keep saying oh i have skin problems and you're not moisturizing that's like one of the first steps that you need to healthier skin have you ever seen people your skin is going to look dry period i don't care what you say but some people are like oh i don't use lotion no mm -mm. no no you need to use lotion you need to use moisturizers you can't not use moisturizers so yeah one of the reasons why you want to keep your skin moisturized also is to prevent trans epidermal water loss this is a process where your skin loses moisture so by moisturizing the skin, you're keeping whatever moisture could, that could be lost. The moisture that's, that's um, produced by your blood vessels. See, this is where the research comes in. So your blood vessels provide moisture and they put that in like the middle layer of your skin, which in turn transfers to the outer layer of the skin. But when it gets to the outer layer, if there's nothing to kind of like protect it, then it just escapes. So you want to have moisturizer so that that moisture is it seals the moisture into your skin so yeah you need to moisturize another thing is because the moisturizer is going to prevent 
wrinkles as much. I mean, you're still gonna get definitely get wrinkles with age, but if you can keep them at bay, why don't you do that? Because the more the drier your skin is, it's just gonna start getting wrinkly. So yeah, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your skin moisturized to avoid that. Now, next point is when you should moisturize. The best times to moisturize are, or rather, the best time. Well, the best times, the best times to moisturize are after a shower or a bath because besides the moisture that is produced by your actual body, you've added, you've like put water in your skin, you've hydrated your skin. So there's more moisture that has like gone into your skin. So you want to kind of keep all of that in and not let it go out. So the, one of the best times to actually moisturize is after a shower, you want to seal all the moisture you just got from the shower or the bath. Another time to moisturize is when you exfoliate or shave. Whenever you do that, you, your skin is like, like exfoliating for instance is peeling up dead skin. You want to make sure that you moisturize because sometimes exfoliating actually leaves your skin very dry. So you want to replenish all of that stuff. Same thing goes with shaving. So that's the best, that's the best time for you to moisturize your skin. Now how should you moisturize? We all know how to do that. Honestly, it's better to tap because then you're actually like pushing it in, but nobody has time for that. So put the thing on your hands and you know, rub it in. If you can't take your time, make sure you do that. Then just go, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, that's not what we do. You want to actually rub it into your skin so that it goes and you want to get all the parts of your body that you can, all the parts of your face. With my face, I, I, I do rub it in and then I kind of tap it in to finish it off with my face because I can do that, but I, I don't have time to do that for my body. So you just want to make sure that you rub it in. Now, I'm talking so fast because I want to just do this real quick. Okay. <sighs> types of moisturizers. There are three major, well, I feel like those are the only three types, but what do I know? All I know is from research. The three types of moisturizers is occlusives, emollients, and humectants. The most common type is the emollients. That's where you get your creams, your lotions, your gels, ointments, and stuff like that. These kinds of moisturizers, they're designed to penetrate the skin. So they actually go into the skin and um, like, how do I explain it? Imagine, imagine like when your skin got dry, there were parts of your skin that like had cracks or breaks inside of it or something like that. So basically emollients go into the skin to kind of like replenish moisture. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know the best way to explain it, but if you want, if you want me to do more research and actually go deep into it and explain to you guys, let me know in the comment section. If not, you can just go on Google and read on how emollients work. So, like I said, these are the most common types of moisturizers you find in creams, lotions, gels, blah, blah, blah. The next type is occlusives. Now, these are like the old school type of moisturizers. Basically, these work by on your skin. So, whatever is inside, it's not coming out, okay? It ain't coming out. It is just not coming out. They're usually very thick and um, they have a very thick consistency and they're very heavy. So, they really, really give a barrier to your skin so nothing is escaping and an example of this is vaseline petroleum jelly some oils are also um occlusives but i'm not sure which oils to be honest with you guys so yeah occlusives the last one are humectants and basically humectants work by um like attracting moisture so basically it takes moisture from the air around you kind of like pulls the moisture and like Puts it on your skin an example of this is an hyaluronic acid which is like which is is all the rave right now so yeah the humectants they they um basically attract the moisture from this from the air or actually from the skin as well they take the moisture from inside as well so if you're in a place that have like a lot of humidity using humectants might actually be a really good idea for you because it can take the moisture from the air and add it to your skin so yeah that's all for moisturizers if you have any more questions on moisturizers let me know in the comment section below so the next tip is distressing a lot of us are stressed i know i'm stressed i'm stressed out so much a lot of the times even when i'm like i think for me it's mostly a mental thing like i just think a lot so i get stressed out by little things 
So for someone like me, I find it very, very important to make sure that I am de-stressing regularly because if not, I am going to become very overwhelmed. And you can de-stress by doing very, very little things. You just want to make sure that you're you're not stressed because once you get start getting stressed, you're not going to be able to do the things you're meant to do. It's, it's going to show on your skin, your face, your mood. It's going to affect everything. So you just want to make sure that you de-stress regularly. Now, for me personally, when one of the major things I do to um to um de-stress is breathe. I know it sounds very I know it sounds very cliche, but if you know me personally, the random times where I just go. <sighs> I remember someone used to think something was wrong with me. Like I would just randomly go, <sighs> and I would like take that deep breath. In. So you want to let it out, and it really helps. It helps to calm me down a lot. It helps to just kind of like put me in a good space. So you want to breathe. If you want to take like a whole straight up minute to just breathe in and breathe out, it's a very good way to distress. Now, other things you can do, obviously, to distress. You can, you can um, look for the things that you actually enjoy to do, things that you find very, rela very relaxing, and you can do them. For me, one of the things I find relaxing is cleaning and listening to music. Now, not just cleaning, actually cleaning and listening to music. They have to be hand in hand. And sometimes when I do that, it's a very, very huge stress relief for me. So find one of the things that you actually like to do that you find very very relaxing if it's just to lay down in bed without any distractions no people no phone nothing do that whatever you need to do to distress another thing that i advise to make sure that you're not stressed all the time is to identify the things that trigger your stress look for whatever thing it is that makes you just like blow up and make sure that you avoid them as much as possible avoid them like a plague i'm telling you just avoid it no don't no there's no room mm -mm. no no room so make sure you identify your stress triggers and avoid them so that they don't avoid them as much as you can another thing i find actually that is is um is good now this is for me personally i don't know if it'll work for everybody else but one thing i like to do sometimes when i get really really stressed and overwhelmed is to kind of just block everything out but not like in a in an unhealthy way maybe for an hour or two just be by myself give myself time to actually think inwardly and just reflect and just calm down yeah that's something i find that helps a lot so you can also take a walk go for a run go to the gym you know meditate do yoga whatever it is that you can you can find that it's just relaxing on its own just do it just make, sure you make sure that you are not stressed and then whenever you do get stressed make sure you find little ways that you can you can um, alleviate that stress so yeah let's move on to tip number three now this one this might be my favorite one of all I'm still doing so much research on this, but I think this might be my favorite one, and it is do away with your makeup wipes. Throw your wipes away. Throw your makeup wipes away. Okay, maybe don't throw them away, but yeah, you want to just reduce the use of makeup wipes. Just, I'm telling you, just do it. Cut it. Just cut it out, sis. Cut it out. Stop using those makeup wipes if you can. If you can. Because when I tell you that Makeup wipes are just not it. Now, if you're someone who doesn't even care about chemicals and stuff like that, that's fine. But if you're someone who cares about your skin, look at this. You want to clean something up. When you do this, it goes off, right? If you use a makeup wipe, you can't do this. You gotta, or at least do that. You're tugging at your skin. You're tugging at your skin. You're giving your skin stress. You're stressing your skin out. Just it's it, it's not worth it the action of actually like taking the makeup off with the wipes and wiping it there is no way that no matter how gentle you can be if you have full makeup on it's not going to take all that makeup off you're just going to have to constantly tug and tug and scrub and swipe and do so much stuff to your skin that you shouldn't be doing we all know that we're supposed to be gent as gentle as possible with our skin so when you're using makeup wipes it already negates that point. 
another thing is when you use makeup wipes, you're smearing your makeup around. You're just smearing it around because why do you end up using like five wipes to clean makeup? Makeup off. Why? Just why do you have to do that? Well, it's a waste of money, it's a waste of time, and it's a waste of energy. Because then you use the first wipe, second wipe, the thing basically just takes the makeup and smears it around. It just takes it all around your face. Especially if you have like a full face of makeup. Uh-uh. No, don't do it. Rather just try to get like a cleansing balm, a cleansing oil, foam gel cleansers, whatever. Just do that. Don't don't stress yourself. Like <sighs> see? I'm getting all worked up now and I'm breathing. This topic gets me. You get because I used to be like a firm believer in makeup wipes. I used I used to use makeup wipes so much. They were like, you know, so helpful. And then when I started doing research about it and I, I found out all the thing, how bad they are for you, I'm like, no. So I, I just want to let everybody know and tell everybody, just don't use it. I mean, I would still keep them around. I don't think I had any now. I would keep them around for emergency purposes. But other than that, no. Don't, just don't do it. Another thing is, you see, when in makeup wipes, the, 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 the ingredients that they put in it to keep them warm moist, the ingredients that are in it as the makeup removers to keep them like to keep them um good pretty much to keep them good and on the shelves for so long there are some ingredients in it that are not good for the skin those the cleaning agents the um like i forget the word what they're called like something that increases shelf life pretty much yeah all those things, they're not good for your skin. I will do a separate video on this. I promise at some point I'm going to do a separate video when I have done more research and I have more of a strong knowledge of what I'm talking about. But yeah, just stay away from them. They cause wrinkles. They're bad for your skin. They make you tug and scrub. They waste time. They waste money. They waste energy. What other reason do you need, sis? What other reason do you need? Just don't use it. Okay, the last and final tip is something that I feel like is very, very neglected, especially among people of color. Sunscreen. The use of sunscreen is very, very... It, the use of it cannot just be... Under, it, it's, it's important. You need to use sunscreen. I know that for at least... What? I'm, I'm what? I'm 23 years old, right? I'm 23 years old. For the first 20, at least 20 years of my life, I never used sunscreen. Ever. I'm like I don't need sunscreen. I'm like, no, you need sunscreen. I need sunscreen. Everybody needs sunscreen, regardless of your color. You need sunscreen because the benefits of sunscreen are so, so, so much that not having them is just not a reasonable risk to take. It does. It's not just. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. So the last tip that I have is something that I feel like it's it's very that I feel is very neglected, especially among people of color, and that's the use of sunscreen. Now, um, sun. I feel like sunscreen generally is extremely important. Um, I feel like I, I know that for the first 20 years of my life, I did not use sunscreen. I did not see the need for sunscreen because of my skin color. I felt like. I don't need sunscreen because sunscreen is just for people who get sunburned. But I did not realize that that was not the case. But you know, growing a little more research and stuff like that, you find out. And not using sunscreen is one of the worst things that you can do for your skin because because it, it, it is so helpful. I'm just going to go over the reasons why we need sunscreen, no matter your age or color, okay? So make sure, or gender. Because I know some guys out there be thinking they don't need sunscreen. Everybody needs If you have skin, you need sunscreen, period. Okay, so the first thing, which is the most obvious, which is the most obvious reason is protection from UV rays, UVB rays. Especially now in this age where the ozone layer is just like depleted, you need to have sunscreen so that you don't have all that bad stuff from the sun in your skin. Another reason is because it reduces your risk of cancer. So even when it's raining or it's cloudy, don't think because, oh, it's not actually sunny, you don't need sunscreen, you still need it. Can melanoma skin cancer is one of the worst kind of cancer and, the, and being in like UVB rays and all the other bad stuff that's out there, 
is one of the biggest causes of it. So you want to make sure that you're using sunscreen, especially when you're going to be in the sun for prolonged periods of time, okay? Another reason why you want to keep you to use sunscreen is because sunscreen <laughs> because sunscreen evens out your skin tone. If you have like for me, I'm still working on it because it took me a long time before I realized that probably that was my problem. I have like a lot of discoloration in my neck area and it's just a huge problem. But if you have discoloration or hyperpigmentation and stuff like that, using sunscreen can actually help because sometimes the areas of your face or your body that's exposed to the sun more gets darker. So... And that's just what you're seeing on the surface, not actually what's going on deep down inside the skin. So you want to make sure that you're using sunscreen because it helps to even out skin tone as well. Well, guys, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, don't forget to like the video. You guys, be forget to like my videos. You need to like, like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss when I post a new video. Also, remember that this video the beauty tips is going to be every last friday of the month please put something in the comment section below be encouraging let me know what you think about this topic if you have any questions as well put them in the comment section below and until my next video stay beautiful